Hey everyone, uh, just wanted to have a quick word before the episode begins. We actually have a little bit of an announcement. We will not be having a new episode of fan service on the dates of November 27th and November 28th. Um, Thanksgiving, so we wanted to take a week off. Yeah, but we'll be back on December 4th and 5th. And we'll be back with a vengeance. And by a vengeance, I mean Fiona from Achievement Hunter will be a guest star on that episode. So hopefully... Uh, after you miss us, we'll come back with it's a, bright and shiny faces and new friends. It's a very good episode. Yeah, yeah it's good yeah. stuff. Anyways, right. happy American Thanksgiving. Yes. And everyone else, just keep watching anime. Yeah. yeah. This week on Fan Service, we talk about Naruto, Bleach, One Piece, and I'm angry. Oh, God. <laughs> she is. Brat. Brat, brat, brat. Brat, brat. Borat, 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 Borat. Now live! Guys, all the anime fans are talking about it. Disney Plus is finally here. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> we can watch those good animes like Gargoyles. You actually can't watch all the anime because Disney did not get Miyazaki Collection. No. It's on oh, HBO Max. Yes, on right. HBO Max. That's right. Yeah. Dumped on Mouse. And you know, we know that because we are fan service. Woo! Rooster Teeth's oh. official anime hmm. podcast. I'm one of your hosts, Cole. I'm Isa. Isa? I'm Carrie. Carrie. I'm Miles. I don't know is, why that, I don't, is that a, I don't, a jab at me? Is that how I talk? <laughs> no, I just wanted to do it. That's okay. a new thing I'm trying out. I'm like, hey, what's going on? I am Miles. Okay, so go ahead now. Uh, leave a comment below if you like new Miles' voice. If you like, oh, can yeah. I leave a comment now and go? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> I know I try to be supportive. Dislike the video hasn't even uploaded yet, and you're like, no, guys, no, guys something's gonna happen. You're not gonna like it. <laughs> First, nah. Oh. How's it going, everyone? How's it's. Hey, you know, I think we're having kind of a low energy low day. Energy. I also think it's, it's like right in Extra Life. That was like a pretty big oh, high yeah. for a Congrats, lot of people. Oh, yeah. Congrats, guys. Yeah. Congrats. Yeah. Um, recovering. Yeah. yeah. Speaking like, of not aging well. <laughs> <laughs> hey, it's like <laughs> alcohol tolerance. Yeah. <laughs> you had to drink a lot more. I did not drink that much. It's just my bones hurt. <laughs> my yeah. bones are coming You're, out. Miles does not have a chest anymore. He got a hole blown it's in his chest. tender. Yeah. Today oh, and man. yesterday you and the day before. pretty much got one punch man. I got one punch man. Um, but, but, you I'm know, getting like shivers just thinking. About we got, it. you know, we got beat up by a professional wrestler to raise yeah. money for children, and yeah. that's pretty fucking I'm cool. I'm so jealous. I want to get hit. <laughs> please, please. I want to get, get hit, hit, says Cole. You, cool. you told that to me, and I, I was just like, how drunk are you? I, and no, you're still saying it now. I just started getting into wrestling because it's he pretty did. much anime. Yeah. It is. Yeah. Um, that's fair. And so, that's like, fair. I've been like, I'm just now getting into wrestling. When am I ever going to have the opportunity to get slapped by a seven-time world tag team champion? Yeah, you really fucked up when you didn't get hit so hard in the back that your ears are ringing for well, 60 seconds. I was also not an idiot, so I wasn't going to get hit in the back. <laughs> I don't know why. Always in the front. They don't ever get hit back. Why did nobody ask to get spanked is my... Oh, valid. Valid. Like, Why? Right? Why didn't I, I, anyone? Now I'm mad. Yeah. I did ask. Okay. And Fiona was like, yeah, do it. <laughs> yeah, Fiona would. Yeah, we'll be on next week, so... Oh, yeah. 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 Hey, yeah. that's cool. That'll be great. Yeah. But this week... What about this week? Why don't um, we just talk about next week? It's all about, about next, next week. week. Yeah. Well, it's a, instead of like a clip show of what happened previously, it's a clip show of what's <laughs> going to happen gonna happen. We, just, we film something now, and then it's up to future us to somehow incorporate those bits naturally into the episodes. Oh, yeah. Yeah. That, that's meta. I love fuck. <laughs> I love Lost. It's an anime. <laughs> um, no, we uh, we made a couple posts on our social on um, the community tab, which we're trying to reach out to you guys more on yeah, YouTube, yeah. just because mm -hmm. we we haven't been and RT Animation hasn't been as much on the com YouTube community. Yeah, right, I think we're just trying to have a little bit more of a presence and and let y'all know that we're here and we're, yeah, we're listening and, we really and, and, and inform you about that community tab because I, mean, I don't know, maybe not everybody knew that it existed YouTube has for a long like Miles. time. Yeah, look at Miles, Miles right now. Well, actually, we just found out about it recently, and we're like, oh, this is awesome. Like, yeah, we've been doing stuff with Pokemon coming up. We've been mm -hmm. doing stuff with uh, like. I mean, we shared like manga and stuff. Yeah. So mm -hmm. it, I like it because it's the way that we can actually get to talk to you guys and get feedback right there. Yeah, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. that it's more accessible and you, like more people have access to it. Yeah. But um, after the One Piece episode, we found like I was just kind of going through some stuff online, and something that keeps popping up that I'm interested in what you guys think about. Okay, is the big three. Not the main, not the big uh, upperclassman in uh, That was exactly where my, my brain academia. went. I was like, <laughs> I like the Pip-Boy guy. <laughs> <laughs> in, in the history of like anime and manga, there were three shows, three mm. series, IPs called the Big Three. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. This is uh, already the most anime thing ever. It, it really was yeah. power, wisdom, and it courage. <laughs> I, am, I am just a little familiar with One this. Piece. Okay. okay. Naruto. Okay. Bart. Bart is dead. Bart is dead. Okay. And Bleach. Okay. Okay. Is that joke funny? 
or should we keep calling it that? I think listen to your heart. Yes. Well, I think <laughs> listen. Okay. I think no matter how many times you say it, it'll eventually get funny okay. again. Because yeah. it already <laughs> isn't. That's how it's I either feel get about funny it. or we're accidentally actually going to like rename that show Bartus. Yeah, because if, of just how frequently Bart or Naruto's dad gets used. You mean Bortus. Naruto? No, Bart- Bortus. Bortus. Yeah. Fuck. Naruto's dad. Naruto's dad is another show. It's also really confusing in the series out. right now because Boruto's gone back in time and is yeah. now hanging out with young Naruto. Yeah, because they ran out of ideas. Because it's hitting, it's hitting the same problem Dragon do, Ball hit. I was going to say, do we have to talk about a big three? Can we talk about that for the rest of the episode? <laughs> no, let's go no, back no, no, big, big three, big three, big three. That's, that's kind of the point, is that, I mean, Bleach <laughs> isn't running anymore. Technically, Naruto hurts. isn't running anymore. Right. Also, um, when we asked the question, like, online, like, what's your, what do you think the new big three should be? Issa I was actually informing me, like, a bit more of the history behind the title of the big three. Has, has yeah. it always been just a big three and it's just been these three? Like, I was mean, Dragon Ball never... A, it was, a big third. That's actually something that Cole had brought up in the conversation it was we we're having. The big three of Shonen Jump only. Yes. Mm. So it was Shonen Jump's big three. Dragon Ball was Dragon Ball Shonen, not. I don't believe right. so. Yeah. Oh, okay. I mean, like if you think about the history of it, I'm Dragon Ball really did become big. But I feel like if you think about the big three, the reason why it's called the big three is because those were the really legitimately the biggest IPs for Shonen Jump mm. because that yeah. was like the three titles that really hit globally it hit yeah and like i mean at the time because that was when manga and anime actually started to become more and more um exported yeah. globally it looks, like it, so, it looks like it was shonen uh dragon ball dragon ball oh yeah like so, mm-hmm. so yeah, it looks oh, yeah, like it was promotion. but it was also pretty globally popular and successful before gotcha like it was kind of like it was brought anime to the west i see okay and then it was like oh here's the you like Dragon Ball Z. Well, here, here's pick a pick pick your option after well, that. It's you like, are you saying that like Dragon Ball Z was so popular that they were like, you don't get to be in the big three. You're your own thing. Yeah, <laughs> Dragon Ball Z yeah. is essentially like, like oh, you're, into you're the top. Like, interesting. Yeah. It ascended into it. I mean, mm. you can. I think you can tell too because of how many like people are really into it. Um, mm. from also, which country, whichever country. I was like, I've heard people make the argument too, kind of similar to to Pokemon too, where like at a certain. I think people who want to get very like meh, about like <laughs> anime titles and stuff like yeah. that, it's like I've heard people say like, "Oh, Pokemon's an anime; it's a cartoon," uh-huh. which is like, "What the fuck?" Weird Shut to me. I, I I don't I don't remember <laughs> who I was talking to, but I mean like, th- th- there's been, I've had more than one people see or read it. I can't remember, but like, it, it's so I think maybe people are talking like the big three in terms of like broadening to a more or narrowing to a more niche audience. Mm-hmm. Narrowing to a more niche, but not too narrow. Right. right. Because that's it's a, the biggest narrow. It's the first time you can go, oh, you don't know about Naruto. Oh, well, it's like level, oh, remember how we're talking about levels? Anime yeah. This level. is ah. level two. Okay. <laughs> so, ah. the, reason, the only reason I bring that like yeah. point up is because a series that people bring up a lot of, oh, this should be part of the new big three, is JoJo's Bizarre Adventure. Mm. Hmm. But that's been running forever. It's been running forever. I mean, One Piece been running forever but jojo but jo- didn't jojo start before one piece so uh, the question is was jojo mm-hmm. always as popular as one piece and i think mm-hmm. the answer is no no and that, well that's the other thing is i also think jojo's harder to like i'm starting to get to the point where i like jojo's i think it's harder it's a little bit more of an acquired taste yes it's it's yeah <laughs> you have to be okay with a lot of anime tropes to step into jojo's right, right. Mm-hmm. whereas like i mean naruto one piece and bleach i Easy. didn't know anything about anime mm-hmm. before kind of right. stepping into that i knew that i liked this japanese form of yeah cartoons right but like, yeah, to your point, like yeah, Dragon Ball was Dragon Ball Z was my first, or Dragon Ball was my first like anime, mm-hmm. and then Bleach was my first manga. Yeah, and mm-hmm. it's just they're easy to get into. Exactly, mm-hmm. like you, even then, like you were mm-hmm. seeking out those comics. Mm-hmm. Yeah, the entry level was very like, right. easy. So, yeah. so, so people, there's the big three, yeah, and there's been this big three for a while. But now people are like, there should be another big three. I well, is there a term in arc coming? <laughs> oh, God. Between the yeah. two. So, what was that game? Jump oh, Force? Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah they, that's they, how they, they yeah. actually are going to decide the next yeah. yeah, exactly. Well, that's exactly. the thing is like, there's been a lot of discourse lately of people going, hey, should there, is there a new big three? Mm-hmm. I mean, look at how look at how quickly My Hero has taken off. Yeah. And it's um, very accessible, like mm-hmm. hitting yeah. that superhero, right. at peak superhero craze. I mean, if we're, talking, like, if we're talking about a... Uh, like shows that got people into anime too. I mean, like Attack on Titan, Sword Art Online. Like, mm-hmm. oh yeah, those like, were. I didn't even huge. think about just, Sword Art. Just like, go into Hot yeah. Topic and look around. Oh, that's yeah. valid. Yeah, and that's it's like Hot I, Topic I, level I one, that, level say, one anime. For me, Attack on Titan is still a little bit inaccessible. Sure, because of how like With the art style. I mean, I, a little the bit. first time I saw it, I was like, "This show's gross," and it was yeah. somebody coming back and saying, "No, like give it another chance." Uh, yeah, there's something. That, that's fair. Yeah, but then there's stuff like um, Fairy Tale. 
Yeah. Like, yeah, that's that. That is a valid, like, very popular series in Shonen Jump. And the reason why I think they're, I mean, they're called the Big Three in the first place because I feel like that was like, I don't know the statistics, but that was really the golden era for Shonen Jump at that time for publishing. Mm-hmm. Um, like, man, they sold. I'm. I bet you they sold a lot of units of like their magazines, like globally mm-hmm. or in Japan too. Sure, right. but like they sold probably sold a lot of like their magazines whenever magazines magazines um whenever those were being published right um i remember there was a video i feel like maybe it was like that anime guy on youtube his his name is actually that anime guy. okay i wasn't gonna i was i was, <laughs> I was trying to decide like like us, us? like which one yeah <laughs> there, there was a video i remember watching on youtube a while ago actually talking about this yeah um and how it was like man as long as one piece is there mm-hmm. like They'll sell. They know that they will. They will mm. sell magazines. But if like One Piece is taking a break, oh mm. man. Yeah. <laughs> um. So there, there is a certain amount of um. Oh, what's the word? I guess like, like legacy or legacy, like honor, honor of honor. like they were the ones that like started. Yeah, like it was this big craze of like which one is the most popular. They're also the most like yet yeah, like we keep saying accessible. Everyone who got really got into them like really bought into yeah. all of the shonen. Motherfuckers jump stuff. were wearing leaf headbands. Yeah, everywhere. Yeah. everywhere. They still yeah. straw they, hats. <laughs> like, and they still are the yeah. hat and clogs I mean, from Bleach. Yeah. Yeah. First like, ever like anime merchandise I bought was Toshiro Hitsugaya's sword yeah. from Bleach. Yeah. Like yeah. God, and that's still you, still in my bedroom right now. Like, yeah. So yeah. where where what <laughs> in the like, closet? Which, which part of the in the it, uh, <laughs> it's by the door in case mm. somebody comes in. Uh, that's fair. That's, that's, fair. Take them that's out. fair. So you can arm them if it's by the door. <laughs> yeah, because Cole wants a fucking challenge. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. yeah, you're Bring just gonna it. like be there, just like I can do this. You're like, I'll fight you with one hand, and I'll pick up that sword. <laughs> so I it is um uh they think the one of the interesting uh. At least at the time um, when it was happening was when Naruto ended. Because out of the three mm. of them, Naruto was the one that ended first. Boruto's death. Boruto's it, it ended death. before Bleach? I'm pretty sure. Because I remember... Yeah. Yes. No, I'm pretty sure. Uh, fact check me. Yes. Naruto yeah. ended first. And then Bleach ended soon after. Did uh, did the... This is not super relevant. But did the Naruto manga have a distinction between Naruto and Naruto? Son? I don't believe so. Oh, uh, was there a distinction? It was still called Naruto, but they did call it. Sh- I hmm, actually, I, I do not believe like it there wasn't was a like. Okay, okay, yeah. it's it. It was still Naruto. Naruto. It was Colton, just Naruto. Colton, Colton, Tallboys. Essentially, yeah. Naruto. Nar- it was a when time, it got it's, it's time jump in the manga. Dragon Ball and Dragon Ball Z, or is it yeah. less so? Dragon Ball, dra- less it's, so. Dragon Ball Z felt like a different show. I don't. Yes. So it's Dragon Ball Z was not called Dragon Ball Z in Japan. It was still uh, just Dragon Ball. Oh, really? Yeah. Uh, they Whoa. were like, oh, American audience is too stupid to be able to distinguish. That's fair. Oh, very fair. fair. Yes. So, okay, hold on. That's the thing is like, I used to be so upset because I was like, no, like we could get it. Like, we're not dumb. We, yeah. we can understand. And then Dragon Ball Super came out. The first, or mm-hmm. Dragon Ball Resur- or, uh, Battle of the Gods, mm-hmm. which was the first one where they were like starting to introduce this new. S- that was the cat, cat guy. Yeah, yeah. Beerus. And like, that's, where they, food. that's where they started doing uh, S. Yeah. Or Dragon Ball Super. <laughs> yeah. What? And <laughs> people were upset that it was so funny. People were like, really? what, this is supposed to be serious? I was like, oh, we are too stupid. <laughs> it's like, have you ever, did you, have you seen, in the first episode of Dragon Ball, he goes like pee-pee. Yeah. 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 You, but you like people, they, yeah, they looked at that his... Z distinction, and that's when Dragon Ball Z started getting serious. Yeah. Sorry, um, I just want to take a sec. I re- like, little kid dicks in the anime is really funny. <laughs> so so it good. is because it's just like the two like yous. Mm-hmm. But I believe really Naruto I really in Japan it's still shipped in. <laughs> I just, I just wanted to but it's after so... the time skip. Okay, yeah. I, I wasn't listening. Okay, I. <laughs> <laughs> I missed the last part because in my head I was Sorry, like, he's got kid dick on his yeah. mind. I was like, do we need to cut that? No, it's fine. <laughs> okay, no, I'm so confident that yes. Bleach was af- ended after Naruto. I was looking up. Be- yeah, you're supposed <laughs> to look. But here, I'm so confident because I remember thinking. I like this ending better than Naruto. Mm. I went, really? oh, this Bleach ending is so, better than how I felt okay. about Naruto. Hold on, hold right on. Now. Disclaimer, <laughs> sidebar. She's got onions. Yeah. Did you, didn't you dislike one over the, didn't you like one over the other because of ships? It was, it was, it was ships, yes, when it came down to it. Was it I am, was it I the am story, that bitch. Was it the story of what happened or was it purely based on ships? Um... Why not both? Okay. <laughs> Porque no loves those. I was wondering, like, is do you think like the bleach like like is the, uh, overall better objective versus subjective? Yes. Ending? Oh, that's interesting. Like, hmm. is one actually? Do you think one's actually better, but you preferred one? 
or the other? Who oh, out of like that's Bleach or Naruto? That is question. a loaded question. That's a loaded yeah, question. Only I this because I've heard most people like Naruto's ending better than Bleach's. Oh, which is bullshit. <laughs> but oh what this God. episode of the podcast has done <laughs> is it's walked up to the comment section of YouTube and it placed this question <laughs> under a cardboard box with a stick and a string attached yeah. to it. And now we're fucking ready. <laughs> well, that, that, and that, but that's also the bubble that I've seen. That's the bubble that like I've follow on Twitter liked mm-hmm. Naruto's en- ending better than Bleach's. But I also know that you like it was for you a lot of it was shipping, and I don't think shipping. those people yeah. are involved in shipping that much. I don't know what they look for. Maybe the fight scenes are better. Maybe something else. I don't know what the algorithm has determined. People mm. I follow. Yeah. Here, let me paint a picture. Yeah, <laughs> please. <laughs> so here's what happened. Here's how I view as a person who has read both Naruto mm. and Bleach all the way to the end. Just so we don't scare anybody, this is a non-spoiler. Or who okay. gives a shit? They're, 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 they're old, old by now. That's fine. They're old care. by now. <laughs> Naruto ended November 10th, 2014. Oh, uh, guys, that's, that's a lot later years. than I thought. Five years. That was a lot later than I thought. I don't know why I thought it was like early 2000s. Uh, Bleach oh. manga. All I know about Naruto. Bleach manga ended August 22nd, 2016. Wow. Boom. Four, two years later. Naruto, because uh, he likes pink hair girl. Sas- no, no, that's the guy. Doesn't. Sasuke is the black haired guy, right? Mm-hmm. Yes. Yeah, and he's mean, but like they're friends or something. They're rivals like Gary and Ash. Okay, okay. Okay, so here, let me paint a picture. There's a reason why I think that people think that Bleach's ending is not as good. Mm-hmm. Um, because what happened with Bleach, and I said this a lot in previous podcasts, mm-hmm. where with, when you have long-standing popular series, their pacing slows down to a Tur- to a turtle's yes. pace. Yes, right. Why um, why spend filler arcs? One yeah. issue selling what you could use two issues selling. Yeah, like you could tell mm-hmm. the same story over two issues and you make twice as much money. I yeah. think Kubo Kubo the manga mm-hmm. for Bleach. Um, he has such a strong graphic and fashion design sense, mm-hmm. and he really used that in his manga. Unfortunately, a lot of his story and pacing just kind of fell lower and lower as Bleach went on. I think he had some more personal issues. Mm-hmm. Um, with it, wasn't his... there a bigger break for a while at one point? Yeah, I think there was like, a bigger the break. End, yeah, yeah. He, yeah, he had a, he had a okay. bit. I know it also, like, he was also being very very affected by people's critiques yeah, and critical he, response yeah. to it. I cannot imagine being a mangaka because it's like, oh, it's so we, hard. the hardest thing, this is getting, I guess, for me for a second, but, like, the hardest thing is being, like, in production and it's, like, all I look forward to is the time in between. Yeah, and and then it's there, and then it's fine. But there's there's no in between. There's and no you don't get never stop. Manga, you don't get that. Fuck yeah, nothing. Especially that. if you're weekly, man. No, yeah. unless that you're is... the Hunter Hunter. <laughs> you say, especially if you're weekly. Unless you're the Hunter Hunter manga <laughs> and your wife <laughs> made uh, Sailor Moon, so then you're, oh, yeah. you're yeah. pretty good. Yeah, yeah, right. You're good to go. Yeah. <laughs> um, so what what ended up happening was that it was a point where you're kind of just like you're looking at Bleach and you're looking at the story, and then you go, this needs this needs to end, and mm. then he and then it feels like okay. You can rest now. Right. Like close your eyes. Like yeah. it's dead now. And it ended, and it's like okay, it's fine. It ends in the way that a lot of I think a lot of mangas do, where sometimes you go, oh, if you want to do a little spinoff, you could, because mm-hmm. there's kids involved. But also, I'm like, you don't have to. It's fine. Go you, rest. You've done your duty. You've done mm-hmm. your duty for like so many years. So that Naruto, and I am looking at this through a shipper lens because Naruto, I've been involved with for a decade at least, because mm-hmm. I got into it when I was in middle school. By the time it ended. It has been about 10 years of my life. Oh. I was really into Naruto. And what ends up happening, fortunately and unfortunately, as you get into fandom, is that you start developing your own ideas of what these characters are. Yep. This, is, this is hidden really hard. Really <laughs> close. Yep. Sorry, yep. guys. Am I no. giving you secondhand uh, I'm anxiety? Just, I, I'm just going to shut my mouth a little bit. Okay. I think that's what's going to happen. You, you, start getting, <laughs> you start getting your own ideas of who these characters are, what's going to happen, mm-hmm. and especially if you start reading a lot of fan fiction. Mm-hmm. Um, these characters characters end up becoming your own idea of what these people are which i think is great it's good i think think it generates a lot of cool ideas Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. um nardo was such a huge growing up moment for me Mm -hmm. because when it ended it took me like a few weeks to realize i don't own this (laughs) i was like oh i i'm mad it's unfair I don't own this. Yeah, so <laughs> this, this, this discussion right here is why I actually love uh, a series that was on Amazon, um, Recreators. Yes, that's right. Because I never finished that. It, it plays so upon it's it so plays good. upon this exact conversation where it's who owns 
anything. Mm-hmm. Like, mm. as a creator, you can continue to throw stuff out there. If your audience doesn't pick it up and run with it, you haven't created anything. Mm-hmm. Like, mm-hmm. but the audience also can't own all of it as well. Yeah, mm-hmm. it's it's a really it, it's, it's it's a this really weird balance where I, I feel like it is so difficult to ride the line of like when it comes to endings, having an ending that if you do exactly what everybody expected, well, then it was contrived. If you do something out of left field, well, then, oh, well, I, I couldn't have predicted that. That's you just dumb. Sub, you're getting subversive or yeah. whatever. Yeah. You just right. wanted to twist. I feel, I feel like it's, it's just very difficult. to. You have to find that line of it needs to be understandable, mm. yeah. but not what you're expecting, but you're still happy with it. And it's just like, that's impossible. Yeah. Yeah. Mikey Newman has this amazing quote about movies where he says, you should view every movie as though it is a miracle. Regardless um, of if it's good or not, the fact that it even got made and distributed to the point where you could see it is a miracle. Yep. And the number of compromises and decisions and choices and hoops that that had to go through in order to just be there in front of you is a miracle. Yeah. And it, it yep. like telling a story, it's that same thing of like there's so many like moving parts. Like, yep. I don't know. And it takes a lot of hands. There's no exception to that. Yeah. yeah. Like, so here's how I think Naruto like kind of set me up personally. Mm-hmm. And then I complete the way it ended. I was just like, what the fuck? So everything about Naruto that was happening in character wise, there were so many different parallels that were happening because mm. there's so many teams of three. Like there is like the na- main team seven, which is Naruto, Sasuke and Sakura. Of course. And then the legendary, Sakura. the legendary Sanin, which are the le- ba- basically the big three of the series, which were literally each of their mentors. Mm. It was Jiraiya. Orochimaru. Um, Orochimaru. And um, Tsunade. Tsunade. And Tsunade took up, um, took up Sakura. Mm-hmm. Um, Jiraiya mentored Naruto. And Sasuke ran away to join forces with Orochimaru. Um, it was all a parallel. Like mm-hmm. the way that the stories were happening. It right. was always this. And then there was another big, there was another th- team of three that was very much like, oh, these, these, this thing kind of happened. They kind of ended in a tragic way. So here, me as a little girl, I'm kind, I'm kind of like, oh, okay, Team Seven's gonna break the cycle. They're gonna do something different. Like these two are gonna get together. Wait, it landed five years ago. <laughs> you were a little girl. I was a little girl. <laughs> Dude, you, no one knows my age. <laughs> yeah. I, I was fifteen for all you know. <laughs> I felt fifteen at heart. I was so betrayed. <laughs> I'm not saying you weren't young, you know, but I'm imagining like, oh. <laughs> you should have seen me when I first watched Naruto. I was like that. <laughs> um, Didn't I know you five years ago? <laughs> you didn't. I came here four and a half okay. years ago. Yeah, four and a half. <laughs> big six, difference. Big difference. Six months. Yeah. A girl can change in six months. Yeah. <laughs> that girl spurt. Crazy. Yeah. <laughs> um, so uh, here I am. Whatever, guys. Here I am thinking like, oh, man, they're going to change. I'm, I'm thinking it's going to be like this, this, and this. Yeah. They should. I'm thinking like, oh, man, this character, she represents so much to me. She's, a, she's mm-hmm. really big to me. I wish. She, uh, she, I hope she gets the justice that she deserves. Mm-hmm. Like, it was, it was so crazy because even up to the final battle, there's this point where um, even Nardo gets to meet his dad and his dad even is like, oh, is that your girlfriend? He goes, uh, yeah. And then it's like a whole jokey thing. La la la, whatever. And everyone, whatever shippers could say, oh my God, I'm so mad. <laughs> whatever people could say about this shit, whatever. Um, but there's, it's this the setup. It's this setup that happens. And then right at the end, it's Sakura goes back to Sasuke and asks him to come home again. And it's just like, this bitch tried to fucking kill you five times. And it's to they, me, I'm they like, it's go such, for the bad boys. It's, it's such the biggest disrespect for me because yeah. I'm just like how you, you, I swear to God, you set this up in a way that you knew how this was going to end. And then you <laughs> turned it around just so you can sell out and make more money to make Boruto. I'm mad. So wait, who, who is Naruto's, who's Boruto's mom? Hinata. Hinata. Okay, okay. Is she the girl with the white eyes? Yes. Aw, yeah. oh, she's cute. I've just upset you guys. I love it. 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 I love Because Isa pulls out My her small book. My bitch just turned red. Isa has left the chat. <laughs> Hinata is a stereotypical good Japanese wife. Yeah. Ah, uh, yeah. Because all I ever watched was like some yeah. of the first season. And she's, yeah. she's the one that was like, 
oh, I should help Naruto notice his I think it really is a big cultural difference. And like whatever I had read in forums, who knows if they're real or not? It's mm. the internet, right? So at the time when I was part of like the whole shipping community, um, a lot of people I knew who liked soccer were actually from the West. A lot of people mm. who like Hinata tended to be like um, oh, from the yeah. East. Interesting. And then the people, uh, who's the animation studio that did Naruto? Oh no! Um, it was a big. It <laughs> That's was a weird name. It was for one of the. Um, oh, Jeez, P- Peri- Periot. Periot. Is it Periot? I think so. Yeah, because they're doing Pier- uh, Piero or something. You mean the water? <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, it Lisa is. Left the it, chat. is <laughs> <laughs> it is Piero. 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 Um, they're. I mean, they're a big. They're doing Black Clover as well now. They're doing Black Clover. Oh. So oh, they're a big I, okay. animation studio that does a lot of the big IPs. Yeah. Um, uh, a lot of the forums at that time were kind of just like, oh, they're really pushing Naruto Hanada because they like that. Um, even mm. in the filler arcs, as opposed to what happened in the manga. Mm. So um, there's Maybe. so much like rumors happening and stuff. And that's the reason why Naruto had failed me, because I was just like, you just sold out. You just sold got, out. One Piece is great. And One Piece is great. I was like, oh, pirates win. Fuck yeah. this. <laughs> so, yeah. one, one Piece is still is going, there romance right? in yeah. One Piece? No. Not really. Fuck yeah. It's, um, it's all about Nakama, man. No main characters. Like... What about a hat guy? I mean, it's a Luffy, but yeah, like, Luffy. there's he so wants many to fuck more. The treasure. Why do you <laughs> think he's going for it? Stop. Or is it, is it kind <laughs> of like uh, Sanji's just the one who wants to fuck everyone? Well, I always forget in fairy tale that like Lucy's technically the main character. That's a valid yeah. point. Yeah. She is. I mean, like at least at when least they start the, the show. At the beginning, uh, yeah, it, yeah. It, it, it like quickly. Sp- I, but there's romance in fairy tale. Well, there's there's yeah, romance I was going to say, say quickly. I've watched over 48 episodes, and she was the main character technically. <laughs> yeah. But, but yeah. One Piece is still going. One it is Piece. still big. And I think because Naruto and Bleach ended, um, One Piece has now ascended. Maybe. Like, well, also, I think it's, I also think it's, while I love One Piece, yeah. it's harder to access it. There's 900 episodes. Mm-hmm. 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 I've got to say, so when it comes to like the actual like concept of the big three, I, and I don't, I don't know if this is a controversial, controversial opinion or not. It probably is <clears> not. I don't, does it matter? Like, I don't care. Exactly. Mm-hmm. I, I, I know more, at least I think I know more people that have seen, and I'm not saying this show's better, but I, I think I've seen more, I've known people that have seen Attack on Titan than I have One Piece. Mm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Either that or nobody just talks about One Piece because it's like, oh, everybody watches One Piece. Oh, yeah, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. But I, think, I, I don't know that many people who actively like, oh, I watch One Piece every I week. Don't, I don't think there necessarily always has to be a big three. We're at a point where there's so much content, yeah. and mm-hmm. we're at a point now, too, where audiences are... Um, much more able to sort of navigate their own journey through mm-hmm. the sea of content and and find like specific series and like follow it whether it be in like print form or like animation like it's not just like you know it's not like we're all waiting on the Sears catalog every month to see like what things we might be able to buy it's like you can fucking find it if yeah. you're looking mm-hmm. for it um, I think the big three as someone that I don't know I, I didn't really get into any of them but I think it's a cool kind of um Maybe like title or just like a just think, like, something that they it was yeah. an accomplishment. It's yeah. an accomplishment yeah. that they had, yeah. and I don't know if there needs to be another one. I guess yeah. you know it's middle, not a position well, uh, middle eight. I would I would say that <laughs> my wait it's the MySpace top eight, Gary. <laughs> I, w- I would say that the the counter because I I tend to agree with y'all. Uh-huh. I'm just gonna play devil's advocate here. Oh, um, let's play. Uh, <laughs> it Spooky. gives a good um standard Spooky. for somebody's like, hey, I want to get an anime. Mm. Like the big three was always good. Like, oh, here's Here's what everyone around you is getting into. Well, okay, let me ask you. Do you, it is 2019. Yeah. It is November 2019. Would you recommend to anybody that they start watching anime by watching either Naruto, Bleach, or One Piece? No. Like, honestly, I wouldn't. I think, I, that's what I'm saying. I think One Piece is a bit harder to access. Like, yeah. I mean, if we're saying like big three there, I would honestly like throw in My Hero. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Like, I would say, like, I'm not, so, like, yeah. I got, I, I like think Devil's Advocate is like, yeah, no, no, totally. having, a group that you can go oh. here's this group of stuff that they're all similar in nature that yeah. if you like it's one kind of, of a them standard. yeah you're going to end up probably liking the other one and then that'll yeah. end up making you go and, into more but they're all similar to where you're probably going to like them all but different enough that you're going to have a favorite yeah. you could mm-hmm. you could watch all of them yeah, yeah. almost yeah. everyone who watched the big 3 who I've talked to had oh in in my group of friends that was my show mm-hmm. right. like we would all get together and talk about it and but like Whenever we talk about like ships or talk about like what happened, I would be the one like mainly leading the Naruto charge, and yeah. my best friend would be the one leading the One Piece charge. Yeah, that, was, yeah. that was me for Corey in the house. <laughs> I fucking hate so, never, like... so the big one, <laughs> yeah, the big one. It's just Corey. Corey in the house. <laughs> yeah, yeah. If you had to start assembling 
a relatively new big three. I, I feel like Full Metal Alchemist would be on that list. I think that's oh, as in like in general? Like in general, like if if you're so, talking okay, so three, like, three three that, very popular anime that are kind of a good intro. So yeah, so what's the? It, they then want to ask what's the criteria for picking the three? Because like the original big three, they were selling manga at the same time. Are we taking that? Oh, I don't know. Out yeah, of there, because like that was, that was like the anime. deep dive into anime manga culture. Mm. Yeah. It's you're gonna get into One Piece and then you're gonna go read the manga. You're gonna get into Naruto and you're gonna read the manga. The the biggest the other big thing with the the title of Big Three, I guess, is that it was very Shonen Jump specific. Mm, right. Like Shonen Jump Weekly at that time, that was their thing. Yeah. Like, um, that was their thing. That was kind of how they were marketing mm -hmm. it. I, in my opinion, anyway, from what I could um remember or see, um, they're like, oh, read these three, and then buy buy it, and you'll be guaranteed. And there's some other stuff things. in there too. Yeah. yeah, but it worked for them at that time. Um, but now actually one of the things we had, we were talking about as we were kind of prepping for this, um, one of the things I had mentioned was, I think it was actually really interesting when, when two out of three of those ended, I think Shonen Jump was kind of forced to look at their content and think to themselves, what can we do to get readers back? Oh, they oh. Went, they're still going through like yeah. a, so many new series are coming through. I mean. Like I, one of the shows that I would throw up there would have been Food Wars. Right. I, I think it's. I think it still might be a little harder to access, but I mean, it's on Toonami now. Like, mm -hmm. um, yeah. the manga mm -hmm. sold extremely well. I know so many people around the office who I would never expect. Like, I would never expect to get that deep into because I think I, I tend to think of Food Wars as a bit deeper. Just because yeah. there's a lot of hentai. I mean, it's by hentai artists. There's a lot of hentai is, references. It, there's a lot of. It's a lot of that like anime trope vocabulary. Yeah. Um, and also it's like a lot of liquid. The, a <laughs> there's a lot of liquids Viscous. and it's not necessarily like fights it's yeah. it's cooking it's cooking yeah. Yeah. yeah um so because because it's a uh, you you have that thing where it's just like these things ended what are we going to do now what's our strategy i think shonen jump had to rebrand itself mm -hmm. so to speak actually now one of the things i mentioned to you before was i was just like the fact that the shonen jump app is actually available now i think is or is available and as good as it is now i mm -hmm. think is partially because they were forced to be like what's our market it's global yeah. now, so yeah. we actually have to make this accessible. We don't, we don't have a big three that can keep us going, so like we, we need just to on spread out yeah. and have stuff that's accessible to multiple people. Yeah, and mm -hmm. it just ended up being like a byproduct of what happens when these really big IPs like um, die, essentially. Even though Boros are around, but I don't give a fuck. It's the same thing when when the last episode of Game of Thrones premiered on HBO. Oh, yeah, there was HBO like gonna do? there was like fucking five different ads prior to that that were like, "We're definitely not gonna run out yeah. of ideas. <laughs> look at this. Look at that. Please don't cancel your subscription." Yes. Like, yeah. <laughs> so yeah. so in that we case, like, films. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So what is what would be a criteria then? Like what is? I don't do like. It, I mean, to, to me, it seems like another aspect of those three at the time was again like the, uh, I don't. I mean, this this shouldn't necessarily be a metric, but like popularity of just like everybody was watching or reading mm -hmm. these, and to me, like or yeah. or did, and to me, like yeah, my heroes up there. I'd oh, say yeah. like Full Malcolm's Brotherhood's up there. Mm -hmm. um, fairy tale, fairy tale, I think yeah. is pretty high up there. I I, I don't know. I I think. Uh, uh, I to me that kind of feels like an antiquated concept too, because like I mm. feel like the concept of a big three gets rid of shows like Erased, mm. where yeah, that's not it's not an ongoing series, and that's like the point. Mm -hmm. That was personally mm -hmm. for me one of the things that started to draw me into anime when I was like, oh, a show can just run for twenty six episodes and then that's it, and yeah. then the studio yeah. gets to do something else. That's yeah. amazing. I, like yeah. that is phenomenal to me. Mm -hmm. no. um, yeah, I mean, it's the second a show gets in a triple digits, like it's that much harder for me to like yeah. get. That's, into yeah i mean that's a, that's one of the reasons why i'm starting to really like um not buy into a lot mm. of the season twos or nostalgia train anymore that a lot of th things are happening with which is why we, i keep talking shit about borto because i'm just like we, please I, I don't need this anymore we are also starting to leave the demographic mm -hmm. mm. Sure. we're starting to be the, we have right. money but we're starting to have less time we're anime yes. boomers yes. <laughs> anime, yes. boomers. <laughs> anime <laughs> boomers okay anime boomer uh, oh boy <laughs> I don't know. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think uh, I don't know. I think I I kind of like what you were saying earlier too. It, it it was that was a great title for them, mm -hmm. and now how about we just have a here's things we love the big seventy two exactly yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah. Like, let's let's my space topic let's not limit but, it but so yeah so like I don't know yeah we, you were gonna get it. do you guys have like my you're saying uh, Full Metal Alchemist I mean yeah if we're like personally like I feel like 
the things I hear, you know, when we're a lot of times we talk to people at the office who like maybe haven't seen a ton of anime or who are interested in it. Mm-hmm. I feel like Brotherhood is like top top three like most recommended shows yeah, for yeah. like you don't know anime, watch this. Yeah. Yeah. And you're you're not gonna be disappointed. Um I feel like my hero is there now. Like I feel like mm-hmm. everybody just thinks it's like a really quality show. I feel yeah. like Demon yeah. Slayer is about to just fucking kick yeah. people's Ooh. teeth in. I still need to catch up. It's yeah, yeah me too. So like good. I can't wait for the movie. The uh I like my I like Full Metal Alchemist and I agree hundred percent. What just popped in my mind yeah. is I think another part of the big three, while you guys were saying like it just just popped in. Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah, yeah. Um Something that you can catch up with people, and then you're part of that. Right? Ah. Something that is continu- like my hero oh, is perfect ongoing. for it because it's yeah. like right. Oh, like kind of, I feel that way about Attack on Titan too. So mm. yeah, I was like, the more I thought about Attack on Titan, I don't yeah. know. I think Attack on Titan, at least in the West, pushed manga sales so hard. And that's mm-hmm. what like, I, like I, I, I gotta see what's in that basement, or mm, we gotta buy manga. Fucking god, yeah. Yeah. the basement. And it's like you can, I like it's totally. This is I don't think any of these are really about quality of show like if you no. don't like attack on titan that that's fine i just i do think that i feel like and maybe this is this is more of a personal thing but i feel like attack on titan and sword art were like a part of another big wave of getting people into they fucking anime. sold yeah. units right. just like yeah. i it, it was it was those are the shows that like people who didn't watch <clears throat> anime were talking about mm-hmm. sword art like helped get me more into anime yeah, yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. i mean it's definitely that was like the king of isekai yeah like God, that's people. crazy yeah, that show seems. I keep forgetting that it's like still going too. Because yeah. that show Josh feels like say, three I'm about to, lifetimes. I'm about ago. to start watching again because like it's apparently oh, yeah. Kirito is like a vegetable now, so you get to just like watch all the other people He's be now, awesome. Now, now, as in, Carrot. as in, brain dead. Okay, I get it. not like a not veg- like an actual eggplant. Okay, walking I wasn't around sure. Trying to get in. <laughs> After Doctor Stone, hey, after after Dr. Stone. Stone. you've seen him as a swordsman. You've seen him as a fairy, as a trained sniper. Now see him as broccoli. He didn't yeah. snipe. So, he used a sword still. I don't. Oh. Didn't fucking watch it. <laughs> it was, so, was seen known. One of the other thing. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> she was a sniper. Oh yeah, that's I think right. So. She was. Mm. Yeah. Like you guys got it. One of the other things I think would be an interesting like limit, I guess, to the idea of the big three is limiting it to what it where. It, the publication of it. Yeah. Sure. Yeah. Um like Shonen Jump's big three. Yeah. Specifically weekly as well. Mm-hmm. Because there is a difference between like their monthly publications. Attack on Titans monthly, right? Attack on Titans monthly. Mm-hmm. Um so th- the way that like it when you see weekly you really see like what really brings in sales because it's mm-hmm. so much more cutthroat. Um and it's just interesting the amount of titles that they have that aren't actually like as similar anymore. I feel like back at bat when it was still mm-hmm. at that era, like you did have similar titles and other titles that tried to do something different really mm-hmm. did die out because everyone was only really interested in like specific IPs. They wanted the same thing but slightly remixed. Yeah. But yeah. now the IPs that you know now that are weekly shown and jump, I feel like when I was looking through, I was kind of surprised that they were weekly shown and jump because I was like, oh, I thought this was something else. Mm-hmm. Like, um, uh, Promise Neverland isn't that weekly? Yep, we, it's weekly. Oh, Shonen oh, Jump. Wow. Okay. Promise Neverland. Um, Doctor Stone. Doctor Stone. Weekly Shonen uh, Jump. Boku Ben. Like Boku Ben. That's like I don't know if we talked about it. It's about a boy tutoring girls. Yes, I rem- I, I think love he it. Did it's like yes, I'm favorite sure. harm right now. But it's yeah. very yeah, very safe show. <laughs> it is very respectful. Respectful. Um, like yeah, fa- wink, wink. Fairy Tale was definitely one of the more um. Uh, like fairy tale, you go. Oh yeah, that's weekly show ninja. Mm, yeah. Um, my hero. Oh, I feel like my hero is kind of one of the one of the turning point IPs for Shonen yeah. Jump Weekly. Um, in terms of Spy like, Families Week- Sp- Weekly, Spy Families Weekly and Shonen Jump, but also it's like really different. Yeah. Like, there's a lot of different titles that I think to myself, like, oh, this isn't Act Age. When oh, you were talking Act about Age, Act yeah. Age Weekly. There's mm. a lot of different titles. <laughs> shut, <laughs> shut. Well, I, like, I think. Well, I guess one of the things I like, I maybe am not a big fan of, like this concept of the big three is like. Or again, I like I like what it has been, but like going forward, it's like not everything is coming from mangas yeah. either. Like so many things have come from light novels. Yeah. Everything yeah. Trigger does is just their own original right. thing. Yeah. Like there's just so but many I different think that ways it also to goes do back it. Too. To it's not a conversation about the quality of the show. Yeah. It's employee of the month. Yeah. Well, <laughs> no, you don't like, think so? like the Dan Cook movie. No, I think <laughs> it's I think it's popularity award. Uh, would you not say that's the same thing when your job is to sell magazines? If you're doing the best job. No, because it's. I don't. I don't think. I don't think it's quality. I think it's okay. like you're trying to. I mean, hit upon nostalgia, hit upon stuff. I like. I don't think any of those three were the best three anime 
or manga airing at well, that time. And that, that's mm. what I'm, that's as, as someone that has never really read manga, like yeah. that's what it sounds like to me is like the big three were the ones that like people, like they were specifically some storylines were drawn out to sell more units. It was like, if you put this in the magazine, people are going to buy it. And to yeah. me, that sounds like the, the show, the stories that are doing their job the most, which is, it doesn't matter quality. It matters how many people are show up to buy the reading. magazine because mm -hmm. yeah. they wanted to get the next mm -hmm. issue. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's mm -hmm. what I mean by employee of the month. I okay. Guess. Mm -hmm. Well, cause to me, employee of the month is like, you were the best, like you, That's uh, valid. I guess mm -hmm. like, yeah, I don't know. You did the hardest work. You did the stuff. Whereas like, yeah. Sometimes they're literally not doing the hardest work. They're it's, literally it's having like the difference between uh, uh, all of the employees and voting on uh, voting on an employee of the month versus the manager voting on an employee. Of the month. <laughs> yes, you know, yes. Yes. and there's Correct. there's two different ways to do that. But yeah. like, yeah, yeah, <laughs> it's very yeah. It, it was it was essentially just popularity. So, um, I, at least in my eyes. So we we've got to the bottom of it. Okay. None of it matters. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Watch what you want to like. <laughs> ask your friends who are into manga. Go to go online. I mean, I think we mentioned stuff that we like a lot on this show. Mm -hmm. So yeah. my hero, academia. my hero, <laughs> my hero. <laughs> we like. And also the like, the eternal question that we've all kind of been going around is like, do we need it? Does it really matter? Um, as you were saying, Miles, every the audience is not smart enough to kind of wade through all the stuff of all this new content that we have. Mm -hmm. um, For that a second, we can find something. they are smart enough. I I think we're starting to get closer to a point where there needs. There might need to be something for people mm. to go. There's too much. Yeah. Like before it was. Before it was. I don't know what this thing is. Guide right. me. Mm -hmm. Now yeah. there's like that needs to be curated. I think. Mm. Well, I think part of it has been that um, readers and viewers themselves have started to take pride in being that facilitator of like. There's the friend that's like, like, don't you feel great when you recommend something to someone and yeah. they fucking love it? I think people are starting to seek that out to be the person that tweets about this thing that's like, y'all need to stop sleeping on this show right now. Yeah. Or like, y'all yeah. need to be reading this. Like, I think people are who who get to this level of investment yeah. start trying to become that curator of I stories. I was gonna say, honestly, the thing that is making me think of, and I'd kind of forgotten about this because I I I am not able to like keep up with <clears> stuff as much as I used to be before. I feel like the thing that that and this is funny because it is kind of MySpace top eighty. Uh eighty. Uh, eight. He had eight. a lot of friends. Oh, okay. A lot, yeah. Um, it was just it was just Tom. Uh, it was uh, the way Crunchyroll would sort. Oh mm. yeah, and it was always which one got to the top. Yeah, that's the, I mean, there's yeah. this, that's their right. default sorting is popularity. Yeah, and it's right. One Piece. It's My yeah. Hero. Because there's the, there's those shows that are always know. in the top, and then yeah. like you'd see a show get to four, and then you would refresh the page, and you're like, oh shit, that show's in two now. Oh, oh. like yes. yeah, interesting. Yeah. Yeah. That, I feel like that's that's kind of like a uh, it's like a live feed of <laughs> yeah the top the stock ticker of yeah, anime <laughs> exactly I mean but it, it is it's 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 you know one of the most popular anime sites mm -hmm. yeah, that's and right. it's that's, just based on views you know yeah. that with my anime list as well really? that's like, true, that's it, true. it has how many people are watching as well as what people are rating the score mm. the, the the score is definitely like what we're saying that like community vote because it's like right. recent seasons of Sword Art have been like the second or third best anime airing each wow. season according to my anime list. It's like, mm, <laughs> no. <laughs> it's interesting too uh, when you start getting into like things like voted on by fans because let's circle it back around to maybe you didn't like something because of shipping. This is not a call out. This is a, but, but let's say that truth this, as this, well. is a, this is something that we found with, with, with the like and the dislike. Uh, yeah. uh, world that we live in now yeah. where if you don't like the way something was handled if, if you, like there's a reason why and this is not to say Rotten Tomatoes is a perfect rating website but there's right. a reason why they separate critics from yeah. the audience, audience rating yeah. so you, because so you some know people can't just like dislike bomb something because yeah. they're you know, ignore the critics well, and vice versa <laughs> like critics will sometimes take an approach where they miss what the point of the movie is mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I mean yeah. I've one of my favorite pastimes to do is go read the uh, Pokemon first movie Reviews like the critic reviews, because that's like the best where, movie of all time. <laughs> well, no, we're there and they're like, I, I'm saying it is. Uh, in the years after Akira, this does not hold a candle to cinema. Oh it's like, God. yeah, it's the same audience. What the fuck are you talking about? <laughs> oh my like, God. The best one is uh, Roger Ebert went and played Pokemon cards with some kid who completely rolled him. He stole his cards. <laughs> 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 He was like, I don't oh. know how by by the end of it, the kid had taken my Charizard. Like, oh, R.I.P. <laughs> bless that man. Yeah. <laughs> All this is just building towards is the fact that Hideo Kojima was right. In the oh, future, in the future, our currency will be based off likes. Okay. Oh, 
show done now. Yeah, this show is the new anime. No! Thanks for watching another week of fan service. If you liked it, go ahead and uh, hit a little like, like button. Hit that like button. Yeah. Like, 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 like. like, like. We, don't hit the are dislike. We ending uh, it yeah. If you, if you dislike it, just that's fine, but just don't subscribe. Hit the button. Yeah, ring the bell. <laughs> Check um, out the community. Yeah, tab. Really let us know. Yeah. Like, do you like us? Do you like us? Check yes. <laughs> no, just just yes community tab no, so much because I I personally like it's become like a fun part of my day is to yeah. think of what p question am I going to pose? What am mm, I going to yeah. do out there? Or like other yeah other stuff we can do on it. Like what yeah, we're... I think we have a poll going up. Ooh. The poll have already come up, and the results will I probably hope be available. Mm. But, is Issa uh, bitter and wrong? Yes, definitely, yeah. absolutely. <laughs> no, it's. I cannot tell you whether Nardo is objectively good or not because who, I'm too affected. Questions: Who is the Konosuba best girl? Oh, so you guys oh. get to decide officially. I mean, who's the tiny little mage? Megamine? Yeah, she's the best. Most people think her. Yeah, <laughs> she's the fucking. I can see that. Best. Yeah, she's that's the what fucking that's best. what the movie's about. You want to see the really? movie? Oh yeah, yeah. cute. Ooh. So. Yeah, that's all the time we got. Next yes. week, we'll have special guest Fiona from Achievement Hunter. Yay. So, look forward to it. All right. Bye. Bye. Bye.